Okay, the first thing I made was some small pizzas. I used the Walmart spaghetti sauce. I bought that at Walmart for 82 cents with the tomato paste and I put some small um, meatballs and then spaghetti sauce and then uh, some cheese that I bought for $1.50 and saved the spaghetti sauce so that I could make spaghetti later on. And these, the next one is the uh, Western Barbecue Beans, one quarter pound ground beef or meatballs, any kind of, you could use ham. I bought these two for five dollars or this canned ham. 20 ounces of beans, this is half as much, so it would be a large can. Half a cup of ketchup, a teaspoon chili powder, a teaspoon sugar, salt, and then you just cook that for 20 minutes. Um, I bought these cereals. I bought this at Save a Lot for two dollars, and I bought uh, this for a dollar and this for a dollar at Walmart. You know, uh, cereal milk is a good snack. Okay, this is the Oriental meatballs, and it made the marinade with a half a cup of soy sauce, three quarters cup water, a quarter a teaspoon of garlic, a tablespoon sugar, and a half a teaspoon of ginger. But I made half a um, half a batch, and then I bought the cornstarch that I used to at uh, Walmart for 68 cents. And um, I bought these at um, Walmart. I don't know. I think I paid a dollar and 12 cents for those. So that's the um, Oriental meatballs, and then I just put you know maybe about a, a half a pound, a quarter pound, about a cup of meatballs. Okay, the next thing is the hamburger stew. You can use any kind of meat, sausage, beef, and I had hamburger. I used meatballs. Um, I uh, grated some onion. I had one carrot, and what I did is I took the, um, I bought these vegetables at um, Food for Less, and I got these mainly because they had the uh, red peppers and the, um, I took the, for this um, hamburger stew, I took the um, carrots out to use in here. And I took the carrots out of this uh, Chinese vegetable. And so carrots, garlic, salt. I didn't have a green pepper. One can of consomme. Uh, one can of water. But I started everything in water, so salt and pepper. I didn't put the thyme and no frozen peas. I had some other vegetables you know, from here, and I just threw about a cup in there to make like a nice little soup. You could eat that over, um, you know, rice too, or you could just eat it like soup. I'm gonna freeze all the rest of this. Okay, this is the beef stroganoff, and it's really easy to make. I uh, have hamburger, onion, I didn't have celery or parsley, I browned that in some um, olive oil, and I took the I took the mushrooms out of here, and um, you know, I um, cooked that from this point. And then I put some sour cream, and it called for dill pickles, but I used uh, dill pickle relish because I use that when I um, when I cook um, when I make tuna fish and, and potato salad and stuff like that. Okay, these are the sweet and sour meatballs. Uh, one cup pineapple juice, which I pour right out of the can. I got the pineapple at uh, Walmart. And a tablespoon of oil. One tablespoon soy sauce. A half cup sugar. Three tablespoons vinegar. And I thickened it with uh, cornstarch and water. I got the cornstarch for 68 cents at Walmart. And uh, I added about, I only added about uh, half a can of um, you know, pineapple chunks. I saw the, and then I, I added the green, the peppers that I took out of there. Because I'm not big on peppers. It calls for a green pepper though. Okay, here's the cookies. I made these cookies. And the, the cookies are just, I bought the cake mix at Walmart. And I added three quarter cup margarine. And um, a teaspoon vanilla. That's it. Mix them up. And then for the topping, it's I didn't use, I used sprinkles, chocolate chips, and I had these peanuts left from our um, caramel sundae, so I used those on the top. 
and I had the egg whites here in the topping and I had the egg yolks in here so I had you know two egg yolks in the cookies and then I had the egg whites and I just took the cookies on the end of the spoon dumped them in the um, egg white and uh, and one teaspoon water and then I I dipped them in sprinkles chocolate chips and peanuts whatever I had you could use cinnamon and sugar so the thing to remember here is the egg yolks go on this side on the cookies and the um, egg whites go on the this was written strange in the recipe too so all you have to remember is is the cake mix and uh, three quarter cup margarine. Okay, and the next thing I made was the fudge. Super cheap. Uh, let me get. I forgot the condensed milk. All right, this is the cheapest fudge. This uh, condensed milk. This is a 14 ounce. Um, container, but I only made half a batch because I was making a lot of stuff today. And so half a can, and uh, it calls for three three cups, but I used a cup and a half, and I bought these at Food for Less, and I paid about $1.68 for these. One and a half teaspoons vanilla, and then I had these peanuts left from our caramel sundae, so I just put those on top. So I melted the cho uh, the the chips and the condensed milk. Then I stirred in the vanilla, the nuts and the salt. And it says chill two hours, but it actually goes pretty fast. Okay, the next thing I made was this is a, the, it was hot here in El Cajon. Hey, that's what happened to the pie crust. This is the pie crust that I used. I made a half a batch. One and a half cups flour, one quarter cup packed brown sugar, two-thirds cup margarine and one egg and I, I baked that before I put the um, filling and all the filling is is one vanilla pudding and a half a, a half a cup of um, coconut to make a coconut cream pie and then I bought whipped topping for and this is only about a, a cup of whipped topping and I put that on the top so all this is is a pie crust and um, pudding with a half a cup. I bought the, the coconut at Walmart. It was about $1.28. And then the whipped topping. I'm going to use the rest of it later. That's it.